Hello and welcome to News Click. I am Anusha Paul. We are bringing you a glimpse of some of the most important stories we report about at News Click. Farmers' long march to Mumbai called off after written assurance from state government. The march, which was announced to cover 40 kilometers on its first day on Thursday, was called off after the farmers had walked 13 kilometers. After deliberations with the government that lasted nearly six hours, the All India Kisan Sabha (AIKS) decided to call off its march to Mumbai on Thursday evening. The AIK's leadership said it has received written assurance from the Maharashtra government that all the demands in its 15-point demand charter would be met. It said that unlike last year, the government has agreed to hold a review meet every two months to monitor implementation of the promises. The 180km Kisan Long March to Mumbai was called by the All India Kisan Sabha, affiliated to the Communist Party of India Marxist. The second Long March was called as the Maharashtra government, led by the Devendra Bhatnavis, had not fulfilled its promises to farmers after a similar demonstration in March 2018. The farmers' demand include immediate relief for the drought-like situation, land rights, minimum support, price for crops, better water resources and a crop insurance scheme. Farmers from 23 districts across Maharashtra had joined the march, which was flagged off from Nashik to Wednesday to mark the fourth death anniversary of Govind Pansare. The Supreme Court on Friday directed that the nodal officers, as per the list furnished by the Attorney of General, take necessary steps to prevent the acts of violence, discrimination and other cursive acts against the Kashmiris and other minorities in the wake of the February 14 Pulwama terror attack in which at least 40 CRPF personnel were killed. The Supreme Court today asked 10 states to take the prompt action to ensure Kashmiris living across the country do not face the social boycott or attacks. Amid reports of threats and violence against them in the aftermath of the Fulwama terror attack. The 10 states are Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Meghalaya, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Punjab and Maharashtra. The top court was hearing a petition filed by the Supreme Court advocate Tariq Adib seeking protection for Kashmiris and amid reports of harassments and attacks on them following the Fulwama terror attack. The petitioner had also mentioned the controversial tweets by the Meghalaya governor Tathagat Roy, who endorsed a call to boycott everything Kashmiri. The top court today said that police officers who were appointed as a nodal officers to deal with the incidents of mob killings will now be responsible to deal with the cases of alleged assault on Kashmiris. from across the world have been arriving at the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela since Saturday to participate in the Che Guevara Internationalist Brigade that seeks to bring together the youth of the world in defense of the Bolivarian Revolution and to engage the meaningful exchange of experiences and struggles. On Saturday, February 17, the brigade launched its public activities with a visit to the National Pantheon in the Caracas where the liberator Simon Bolivar was laid to rest. Their rights to sovereignty and to decide their own fate should be respected by the rest of the world, including the right wing um, within their own country. The internationalist youth brought a floral offering to the tomb to honor the liberator and the anti-imperialist, anti-colonial fighter who to this day is a source of inspiration for struggling people internationally. The Che Guevara Internationalist Brigade is a crucial effort in the strengthening the international grassroots solidarity with Venezuela and the Bolivarian Revolution. It will give the participants not only a better understanding about the different elements of the revolution, such as the history, the victories and the battles ahead, but the brigade also has the goal of proposing concrete routes and agendas for the current defense of Venezuela against the advance of imperialist hegemony, as well as the defense of people's right to self-determination. That's all we have for today's episode of Daily Rounder. To keep yourself updated, just log on to www.newsclick.in. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and YouTube channel.